Okay, so in this video, I'll show you how to analyze Forex markets. And in the process, I will cover momentum, the market structure, central bank policies, macroeconomic news, and the general big news themes. And then we'll see how these impact the price and how we analyze the markets. Okay, let's talk about momentum first. We talk about momentum when we refer to market moving up or down. It's difficult to make money in a market that is moving very in a very tight range. But when you have a market like this gold here in the hourly chart, making higher lows and higher highs and trending above the moving average, then we know that the market is likely to move higher. So both of these conditions have to be true. The market creates higher lows and it creates higher highs and they take place above the moving average. I have here a 50 period moving average, but I invite you to try and test some other moving averages also. And then the downside momentum. Here we have gold again in a one hour time frame. And as you can see, the market is most of the time moving below the moving average and it's creating lower lows and lower highs. So we know that the buyers are not in control of the market and it's more likely to move down. So again, both these conditions have to be true. The market is moving below the moving average. And I should add most of the time, there might be little quick moves above the moving average, but it really doesn't change the picture. Only when the market starts to move above the moving average and starts to create higher highs and higher lows, then we know that it's not likely to move lower anymore. If you have been trading a little longer, you might have heard people talking about market structure and wonder what are they referring to. They basically talk about points at which the market has found either resistance or support and then those points or levels have been penetrated by the market price. These levels tend to reverse their roles and they become part of the market structure. Here I have an example for you. So at this point here, and I'm, I'm going to use an arrow to highlight the point. At this point, market found a little difficult to get through that level. It reacted lower from it, but then eventually the market moved higher above the level and see what happens after this. The market returns to the level in a couple of occasions here and here. And now the market finds support at this level. So we have market structure created here. When the market moves higher, and creates new higher highs and higher lows. In the process, it also creates levels that become part of the market structure. So let me show you. Here we have a level that resisted the price moves. And once the price moved above it, the, it found support there for a little while. Then the market penetrated the level. And then again, the same level became a resistance. You might have already noticed that support and resistance levels aren't really very clear levels. They are more likely areas where market reacts to the previous structure. OK, now we know how to identify markets that are moving up or down. Markets that have either upside momentum or downside momentum. So the next question is obviously, how do we trade these? And it's the answer is actually quite simple. So once you have identified a higher high and a higher low above the moving average, then you start to look for the market structure. And here we have an opportunity where the market returns to the market structure. And it basically gives several opportunities to get into that long trade. And then the market moves higher quite nicely before it creates a lower high, lower high, and eventually starts to move below the moving average. So this is very simple. Everybody can learn how to do this, but you just have to have the discipline 
to look for these opportunities and only trade when probabilities are on your side. Understanding central bank policies and macroeconomic data can give us another layer of confidence when we are looking at these technical setups. Here, for instance, we have USD yen pair in the daily time frame. And as you can see, the market is trending higher because the Fed has been raising rates and the Japanese central bank, the Bank of Japan, has been quite reluctant to do so. They actually still are very dovish while the Fed is quite hawkish. So this provides us a reason, a fundamental reason to believe that our technical setups might actually work pretty well. And here we have an example in the daily time frame. The market created a level here that pushed the price lower and then it moved beyond the level but then the same level, the same market structure level created a buying opportunity. And this was a great opportunity because the market was creating higher highs and higher lows above the moving average and market moved back to a structure where lots of institutional buying came in. So this move actually from these lows, the first push was about 3.8% then the market hovered sideways a little bit and then moved a little further, actually 5.5% before returning back to the same level and then moving higher again. And then we have the major news themes that tend to impact the market a longer period of time. I'm not talking about individual news events that tend to have an impact and then it's forgotten in one or two days. I talk about themes that impact the market for a longer period of time. Like, for instance, here, we see the impact of coronavirus pandemic when it started to spread from China. On the left hand side, I have the eight hour chart of pound USD. And on the right hand side, I have the Dow Jones index CFD. And both of these risky assets, they just plummeted when the markets sought for safety from safe haven assets. So this lasted for longer period of time and provided traders with great opportunities, first on the downside and once the market started to recover, then on the upside too. Other similar themes that have impacted the market for a longer period of time are the inflation, the Ukraine war, and the subprime crisis. All of these have created trading opportunities, but in order to take advantage of these, you have to have the knowledge that I shared earlier on this video about the moving averages, about the higher lows and lower highs, and the market structure. Now that you know all of these, you are much more prepared to go and study the charts on your own and create your own trading strategy using these principles. Okay, it wasn't that hard, was it? Now you know how to identify markets that have momentum and you can go and look for market structure to take trade against and you can identify the markets that are moved by central bank policies or macroeconomic news, etc. So I invite you to open account with Teal Markets and subscribe to this channel.